Ah, uh, children, listen to me now, what I'm going to say. Last week, I was in Bangladesh, as all of you know. On the borders, I, was, I saw the children like you, who lost fathers and mothers. I met many orphans. What happened? The Buddhist Burmese killed their fathers and mothers in front of them. And they have nothing left. Some of them no clothes. Wallahi, no clothes. You saw some photos. No clothes. Okay? What does that mean? And they still, you see them going to the Quran school, memorizing the Quran. I, just, I was amazed. Allahu Akbar. Look at these people, what happened to them. And they are in a, in a small shed of plastic. Extremely hot. And studying the Quran with the Sheikh. And I was so amazed that at this age they were reading Al-Baqarah. What? And I was reading with them. I checked them. Maybe I was not hearing properly. I said, read. <coughs> the girl started reading. Read. And they were, wallahi, maybe six, seven years old, max. What does that mean? And the pressure people really appreciate the religion. And some of you, maybe their mothers find difficulty to bring them, just to get them to the car. Get in the car, it takes her maybe two hours. That's unfair. That's unfair. I wish you were with me, honestly, the children, so that you see with your own. So my children, there are people, their parents are dying in front of them, and you see them, mashallah, realizing the importance of the team. They burn their schools. They burn their homes so that they don't come back. This is why they burn their homes, homes sisters and brothers. When they burn their villages so that you don't come back and say, this is my house. So here it is, the same history, going to repeat itself. The Prophet ﷺ went through that. All the Prophets of Allah suffered. So this deen, this deen, naturally, when we try to practice it the best we can, and mashallah live, expect opposition, huge opposition. Shaitan, may Allah curse him, telling people to harm you. Because you're trying to be good. 